Lakehead University has been awarded more than $2 million in federal funding for a project that aims to improve access to palliative care. Local MP Marcus Pulowski was at LU this afternoon to make the announcement. Jess Clement has the details. The federal government will be funding a local research project aimed to assist underserved populations in receiving palliative care services. Thunder Bay Rainy River MP Marcus Pulowski made the announcement Monday afternoon at the Lakehead University Agora. This announcement is on behalf of the Honourable Mark Holland, Minister of Health. I'm pleased to announce $2.38 million in funding to Lakehead University. Lead researcher Dr. Lynn Martin says the project will provide a better understanding of the services received by underserved populations, including those with mental illness, those living in rural and remote areas, and those experiencing homelessness, in order to identify gaps and to overcome the unique barriers they face. What we're doing is um, setting up some different advisories with people from these groups um, and organizations that represent these different groups and working with them to prioritize the research that is needed and in particular research that is needed for them to change, <laughs> you know, what they're doing to, in order to, um, you know, improve access and also um, the reach. Aging and Health Research Director Kathy Cordes Miller says they're excited about receiving the funding and adds that this type of research is important. It can guide and change practice. Um, I think the timing is really important right now. We've learned a lot through COVID and I think we've really recognized and seen firsthand some of the gaps in our system. And Dr. Martin's research proposes a way of paying attention to those gaps but moving it forward and being action oriented in the research to improve care. Pulowski says the need for more accessible palliative care is growing, so it's important for the government to fund these types of projects. I think we haven't done enough in order to ensure that people in those kind of conditions get the kind of services they should have, because you know you should, especially at the end of your life, um, have the opportunity to, to afford whatever benefits that the community can provide you in those last days, to make those last days hopefully good days and be able to enjoy to the extent possible the, the end part of your life. Jessica Clement, TVT News.